sure it'll work or not, but it's on here, right? Nice and get the t-shirt rolled up, okay? I'm gonna, um, I need to get to my side, right? So I need to put my foot on his hip, and I need to bring this foot, uh, I shouldn't say on my side, on the side of him, I need to cut an angle, okay? Then I need to reach under the leg here, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive my right leg through, and I'm hooking the shoulder as I'm kind of pulling his leg and his neck toward me. So I'm gonna push my right leg this way while I'm pulling this way. Man, that may be the uh, first cross collar choke with a t-shirt on the internet. So <laughs> you gotta share this video with me, I need to post it. Man, that was, that used to, I felt bad, big time. Yeah. So um, anytime you, you can do mostly all jujitsu chokes, if someone has a t-shirt on, it's just the easiest if you roll it up and, and make it tight. You know, if I just try to attack, yeah, the cross collar choke, or the bone arrow choke is one of the, like, if I just try to use this, the odds of this ripping are good, but if I bring up all the material, right, work, make the switch, get here, start to drive, and then go. Okay, it's a perfect bow and arrow. Uh, you know, it's called a bow and arrow because yeah. I'm bending you like a bow and my foot is pushing through what I just like pop an arrow. This, would I try to pop that off my shoulder? Is that the... Yeah.